you know. War. Always stays the same. So they say. But to me, that's not true. Considering the fact that you see new enemies, new challenges, new obstacles. There's always something lurking around the corner. They just hold it from you. But today, is a new day. And on this road, we don't see glory anymore. We seek violence. So I ask you, do you want to join this road? Or do you want to just watch me side? Because we have three contestants. And this won't get any easier for either of them. You think this is supposed to be easy? Nah. This is just begun. For David, for Demarcus, and for Michael. All of them will face different challenges, win different awards, and face different obstacles. And do you think that this is just to just be some farce? Think again. Because it ain't over. Oh, we got a long way to go. On this road, once again, I remind you, we don't seek glory. We seek violence. And today is a new day. Let your name be forever memorized, sketched in the history books, and shown to the world that you are the Heisman candidate for every single year you play. Here on out. Please let it be known. The world won't show you mercy. They won't give you grace. They won't show you love. They won't give you power. You have to take it. to glory. What's poppin' y'all? It's your country cousin here, so we're going for in the building. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing straight. And man, dude, I got another one for you. Look, man, okay. I said I was gonna get a few more videos out, but that's because I actually really need to. Alright, now, with that out the way, um, I will show you a little bit, just a little bit more or less right now, only because it's week two. Alright. Now, I was going to add a little bit more to it, kind of get some practice film in, show y'all how the offense is actually performing, 
since y'all can't really see the offense actually perform on the field, especially since the simulation, of course. Um, I'm gonna do that in the next video because the second we, you really don't have much information. You really don't. I mean, besides your dailies from the News Gazette and the players of the week and who we're facing, you don't really have much to go off of when it's the first five weeks of the season. I kind of try to unveil more around like week 10, but even then, it's like half the season is already gone. You feel me? So, I'm going to go ahead and get into this win streak real quick because, yes, we are at six right now. And, yes, the winning will continue. I mean, until we face the USC. But that's not the point, though. The point is, we got hands, okay? And the defense has been performing well, very, very well. Um, also, in practice, they have also been performing well on certain formations, of course. Um, but, man, I mean... This week's game, um, it's gonna be a lot of it's gonna be a lot of defensive pressure uh, against the wide receivers because we have some very, very talented wide receivers coming up in our next game versus Nevada. Um, Cause them boys is true impact players. Like they are. Listen, them boys ain't nothing to play with. Okay. But let's get you into these ratings though, cause. Um, these ratings don't really tell you everything. Like I said, it's the first two weeks. You really want to know your real ratings statistically until about week seven. If I, it usually, I would say week 10 is when you really know it, but week seven is like, I think that's like when rivalry week happens. I think it's week seven, week eight. Um, I, I'll post when that video, when I get to that video, I'll, I'll put like rivalry week or something like that on there. But oh my goodness, man! Like this game against Nevada, dog. I mean, the matchups you really want to see is the corners versus wide receivers. I, I mean, that, that's the, the whole secondary has been clawing at the wide receivers in practice. Now, would they do the same here? Who knows? Because these are bigger wide receivers at Nevada, but. You guys go ahead and get you into the players of the week, man. And, I mean, come on now, bro. I mean, Arizona. Top five in the Pac-10, dog. Come on now. And, of course, you know who's going to have a left end. Because that man was acting a fool. Seven tackles. Six of them were for a loss. And this man had four sacks. Four. And a forced fumble. Hopefully we can get Dave Washington in that forced fumble category eventually. But oh my goodness. Halfback may be a problem this year, dog. Maybe a problem this year. First was the wide receivers last year. But this year, it may be the halfback. Who knows, dog? Who knows? They got plenty of offensive weapons on Arizona. But that's neither here nor there. Let's get into the broadcast. Keep it going. Everybody, Brad Nessler here with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. We'll have mild temperatures and a good amount of cloudiness for today's game between the Nevada Wolfpack and the Oregon Ducks. It's been nonstop hard-hitting football so far early in the season, and we hope to continue that as the season goes on. And here come the Ducks. The Wolfpack may be overmatched and could have an ugly game on their hands. Any thoughts, Kirk? Oregon is led by their running back. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and believe me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. Hey, everybody's picking him, so I will too. Go Ducks! Quack, quack, quack! <laughs> all right, folks, you heard the coach's pick. Now let's head down to the field for the coin toss. Well, Coach, this cornerback is a really special player. What do you expect from him today? I watched this kid play high school ball, and everyone knew he'd be something special. Mark my words, you guys. This kid will get the job done today. Well, expect him to be matched up with a very good receiver throughout the day. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out.
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 20. The Ducks move in close on the coverage. Drops back on first down. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. He looks. Excuse me, motherfucker. Picks it off, and he's taken down at the 20. Boy, the defense put the pressure on and forced the bad throw. And you got that one right. When he tapped me on kicks, he's one of those big guys looking to knock his head off. His brain is telling him one thing. Just throw it. Well, he did leave. He did throw it, but he's got to throw it away, not to the other team. From their own 23-yard line, it's first down. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Gives it up the gun. Tackle for a loss. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Yeah, and that time the defense got him to go backwards. From their own 21-yard line. Second down and 12. They come out in a nickel. Play action. He's looking. He passes it. Incomplete pass. Number 44 was the intended receiver on the play. So that'll make it third down. They line up at the 21. Third down and 12 to go. Nevada lines up with three receivers. Look at the throw. Number 15 throws. Number 82 was the intended target. And that'll bring up a punting situation. They'll set up shop at the 13. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. Oh, Gives it off. Broke away from one. He breaks free. At the point. Across midfield. At the point. And he's all the way down to the 30. Wow, that was an outstanding run by the tailback. Yeah, see that play? You give the kid the ball, but sometimes you don't expect him to get as many yards as he gets with him. And he can gladly take it. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 30. Back on first down. Looking, and he can't get away from the pressure. They line up at the 36. Second and long coming up here. He drops back. Steps up. Throws it. And it's incomplete. Number 44 was the intended target on the play. So that'll make it third down. From the 36-yard line. Passing situation here on third and long. Under heavy pressure. And he's going to come up with a sack. They brought the corner and he got the sack, fellas. Yeah, great call in this situation. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20. The defense comes up tight on the coverage. Back to pass. He zips one over to the right, and it's caught. They'll bring him down at the 26. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. It's second and four to go. Ball on their own 26. The Wolf Pack come out showing three wide. Oh, he runs back. Oh, oh, he throws oh. right. Got oh, it to his receiver. Nah. Fumble. Loose ball. It's picked up by the defense. And this turnover is certainly not what they were hoping for. The rich get richer, but let's not write him off just yet. It's still early, but they can't afford to turn the ball over and let this thing get out of hand. First 
It's first down. Hand off up the middle. Tackle at the 24. Four yards gain. It's second down and six to go. Ball on the 24. Number 15 lines up in the shotgun. Look at the throw. Here's a quick throw. Makes a move. He's taken down at the 32. So the completion goes for about eight yards and a first down. Good protection. A nice route. And that's good enough to pick up a first down. Great play. They line up at the 32. First down. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. He snags it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 41. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. From their own 41 yard line. Second down. <laughs> no, no, no. He heaves it deep. Sight! And again! He lost the ball. And they fall on the loose ball. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. On the offense. So instead of moving forward, they'll move a few yards back. Boy, I hate to see guys making dumb penalties like that. Second and 11. The defense comes out in the dime package. He drops back. Down the middle. This one is incomplete. Number 44 was the intended receiver on that pass. They'll make it third down. They line up at the 31. Third and 11 coming up here. The defense sets up in the dive. Play fake. He's going right. And he pulls it down. And he's all the way down to the 41-yard line. And guys, you can just feel the momentum building with this drive. That's their third first down on this drive alone, Coach. Yep, we all know how important momentum is in college football. This defense really needs to step up and get some of it back. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. The Ducks are up tight on the receiver. He drops back. Number 15 throws it out there. He's tackled in the open field. Short pass there, and they get a moderate gain. There's nothing wrong with Nickel and Diamond up down the field. It's second and four. Ball on the 35-yard line. Stop behind the line. Two-yard loss for the halfback. This defense faces another third down. Looks to pass. He throws right. He catches another. They'll bring him down to the 21-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Tenth play of the drive. First down, look at the throw. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Nevada just took their first time out. Second and long. Ball on the 27-yard line. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Drop back to pass. Throws to the middle. Catches it. Great concentration. That was a good completion there. Yeah, I really liked the good, clean routes they ran on that play. 
The offense lines up trying to convert on third down here. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. On play action, he unloads it. You stupid. Number for the interception. And this one could be on the defense. What the fuck? First down. That was a good call. The defender was all over. Sometimes holding up a defender is better than letting him go for a big game. Or even worse, a touchdown. From the 11-yard line. Linebackers move over. Gets the ball. Oh! They bring him down. Looks like they're going to go no huddle here. The defense comes up tight on the coverage. Moves up in the pocket. He's rolling left. 15 throws. And he is drilled at the one-yard line. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense. And the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. First and ten. Go. Got it to his receiver. The defense looked a little lost on that one, Kirk. Yeah, they did, Brad. Nice recognition here by the quarterback to see that confusion and then take advantage of it. First and ten. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. Back to pass. He passes it. He's pushed out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Taken back a yard. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 49-yard line. Tackle at the 47 yard line. Number 29 gains about four yards on the play. That'll bring up third down. Third down and seven. Ball right around midfield. Drops back to pass. One Three. To throw outside. Incomplete pass. And now it's fourth down. So they're set to punt this one away. Tidwell awaits the snap. Tidwell punts it and he didn't get much distance on it. Calls for the fair catch. Their last drive ended when they decided to try for it on fourth down and were turned away by the defense. First down. Number 15 passes. And down he goes at the 29. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. Only, only offense. Ten yard penalty. Still yeah. try to hide it there. That was a blatant holding call. They'll call that every time. They line up at the 10. It's first down. The Ducks bring in the nickel package. The defense sets up in the nickel. Play fake. He throws a dart to the left. Got him on the run. And they make the stop at the 25. Our cameraman didn't even know who had the ball. I'm pretty sure the defense didn't either. The halfback did a heck of a job faking like he was running with the ball. Hit. They were about to tackle him. Second down and five. Ball in the 25. Back to pass. He steps up. He's under pressure. And they got it. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Oh, Only on the Nice and drives them back. They're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they can just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. They line up at the 15. Second down. 
The defense lines up with six DBs. Back to pass. He looks. Throws it deep. Incomplete. Well, the defender was all over him on that play. Here's the call by the referee. Pass interference on the defense. Well, he got busted for getting the receiver too soon. He would get a flag for him every time for a play like that. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. It's the tailback. And he's tackled at the 34. Four-yard gain by the back. It's second down. He'll get the call again. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. Nothing going on that one. As we go to the final quarter of play, this one is almost wrapped up. Our score here, Oregon 31, Nevada 3. From their own 34-yard line, we've got a third and six. The Wolf Pack set up in the gun. Looking to throw. Surveys the field. He throws left. Complete. And down he goes at the 40-yard line. They're moving the ball very well on this drive, guys. Yep, the defense is preventing the deep ball, but the problem is they can't stop the short stuff. And the offense seems to be building a little bit more momentum on every play. He looks to throw on first down. He throws. They can't connect. Incomplete. Number 44 was the intended target, so that'll make it second down. Second down and 10 to go. Yeah. Defense looking for his first incomplete in this drive. And he's going to be sacked. will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Oregon comes out defensively with six defensive backs. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. They'll get him for a loss. They're stopped two yards behind the line. It's fourth down and the punt team lines up. Kidwell is waiting for the snap. Kidwell punts it, and it doesn't look like he got all of that one. Signals for a fair catch. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. Gets the ball. No, they it, and they got him. There's a flag on the play. On the offense. Second down. I can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. It's second and long. Ball on their own 13. The Ducks bring in their dive package. Green pass, and it's the senior. Taken back three yards. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball on their own 10. This defense is in the dive. He's looking to pass. Throwing right. Drop down to the 17-yard line. They picked up some yards, but it won't be enough to keep those chains moving. They went to the right guy, he just couldn't get away. Number 
21. Is back to receive. He gets it off. Signals for a fair catch. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech before he sent him out there. Now, let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job this time. First and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Back to pass. Rose. He might have a chance. And they make the stop at the 45. And a nice pass to the tight end. Yeah, this is what I like. Move the ball down the field. Use that nice and steady intermediate passing game. First, First down. Ball on the 45-yard Tell you why. They were coming with a heavy blitz. The guys were shooting through the line right into the backfield. That play didn't have a chance. From their own 42 yard line, it's second and 13. The defense sets up in the dime. On the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. At the 45-yard line, number 36 gets three yards on the carry. So that'll make it third down. It's third and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Back to pass. Green pass. Complete. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Loss of about two. And that's the end of the ball game. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? I can't say enough about this performance. Oregon played an excellent game out there, dominating on both sides of the ball. They've got to feel pretty good after blowing out a team like this. Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one, Oregon 38, Nevada 3. This is Brad Nessler with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit saying thanks and so long. Man, look, okay, did I not say that we was going to get this man in the fumble category? Look, this is the first time in a while that we've got this man over one point, okay? Or, well, one point, two points, three points, like, listen, that forced fumble was amazing. He should have had three, really, let's be real. But that's neither here nor there. Congratulations to the quarterback for passing the ball. <laughs> Instead of just giving it to the running back the whole game. He did a very, very, very good job. 151 yards, 55% completions, two touchdowns. Only one interception? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But hey, it's not me this time. This messing up. All right, that's straight computer. Um, he did not get sacked. Again, back-to-back -back games not getting touched. Hey, that sounds like a pretty good game to me. Not getting sacked? And passing over 100 yards? Sound like beautiful work to me. I don't know about y'all, but I'll take that as a W for the quarterback. And of course, under 30, under 30 attempts, and he still go for plus 150? And he get three tutties? Oh, please. Please. Come on now. Just to be like an average Tuesday for him. Oh my goodness, amazing. Amazing work, amazing work. Definitely cannot complain. Broke 14 tackles and no fumbles. Congratulations, man, very good game. Very, very good game. But I am glad that they gave it to wide receiver number 80. I uh, got two tutties, and this is the kind of range where I want him at, like the yard, when it comes to the yards. Around, around like 70 to 100 per game, like, he don't got to get extra fancy with it. But he's still out there, dog. Like, pass that man the ball. Like, he didn't transfer over here. Because I thought he was hit last season, but he actually wasn't. Because if that's the case, then <laughs> he'd be starting. But, um, oh, my goodness, man. 
and he didn't even drop the ball either. That's good job, man. Good job. But of course, you know how it is, man. Got to shout out the defense because defense is number one. Uh, is the number one reason why we won. Um, besides the touchdown and offensive, offensive scoring. Because, boy, the tackles and the tackles for a loss in this game. Stop the running game. And it's, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And this man had three sacks. That's not common for a CB to have three sacks unless he's out of the nickel or dime. And sure enough, like I said before, we wasn't playing the defensive ends in a form of pass rush. It was mostly coverage just to kind of get the wide receivers uh, spaced out a little bit more so we can get more interceptions. But, man, overall, though, it was still a good game. I, I cannot complain whatsoever. Um, two interceptions, though. Two interceptions this game. It should have been three. Should have been three, but I ended up getting blocked off against the route of the wide receiver, and that's how I got called for my second P.I. But um, overall, though, I mean, it, it was a very good game. And, of course, this man is vying for best defensive player of the year because I stole it from him last year. That's not the point, though. The point is, force fumble, though. And, look, even the wide receiver was like, bro, listen, dog, ain't nobody swollen than me out there. And he knocked somebody lights out and got the force fumble, dog. Listen, I don't know about you, but that ain't easy for a wide receiver to do unless you DK Metcalf, of course. But that's not the point, though. The point is, we got that man of force fumble, dog. Hey, hey, we doing good. Hey, hey, we doing good. We doing good. But no, um, congratulations to Demarcus Jackson getting his uh, second force fumble of his career. Uh, the first one he actually got in a loss to USC. But that's neither here nor there, though, man. This is a very, 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 very good showing by the defense um, yet again. Um, and Marcus Jackson actually was able to participate and do some good within the game. So um, shout out to all of the defense, mostly the secondary, for putting in that work. Uh, because like I said, it was going to be a wide receiver versus corner battle. And uh, the corners did not let up. Uh, congratulations to y'all, man. Y'all did very, 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 very good. And y'all was able to even get to the quarterback. So, shout out to the secondary, man. Secondary did that thing. Um, and that's all I got to say, man. More updates will be coming in the next video. Y'all stay safe, man. Stay blessed. Take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. Mind your business.